favorite bands in Berlin and uh, I, I think it's really interesting to listen all the, the bands of the collective mm. and uh, understand the links between uh, all. Uh, you have inf um, hardcore influences in uh, all the bands you are playing but this one is maybe the, 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 the most hardcore. I think, I think Sinatra is the, the band for every one of us where we can do what we want and I think this is also why it maybe sounds a bit different to some other hardcore bands or the bands that we also play in, yeah. Yeah, I mean like the the breaking point where we all came together in writing music for Sinatra definitely was, okay, we, we just want to write fucking heavy shit, like the heaviest stuff we can write, but that's it actually. So, you know, you can write different heavy shit. It's, there's no special formula for that. Um, not everyone in... Or not every other band of us plays actually heavy music, and um, this is where it all comes together and like very unique heavy songs and whatnot, noisy songs. I prefer, I actually prefer the term noisy music more than hardcore music because I don't just hear hardcore music in, in the project. I hear a lot of metal yes. in the in the project. I hear a lot of punk rock in the project. I hear whatever grind a lot of ambient stuff you know all the stuff we actually each one of us five people actually listens to yeah and um all you know all the ingredients of the different musical styles all the darkest and heaviest <coughs> stuff actually influences sinatra to have the sound it has you know and the sound is always changing actually and we started as a very chaotic a hardcore band and we're writing songs right now and it's going a slightly different direction and it's just naturally and it's great actually.
I think it was 2015. Uh, no, the EP. Yeah. yeah, we released it. I think in summer 2016. Okay. And we played a couple of shows in and around Berlin, and we actually played a proper release tour. Uh, this, I, I think, yeah, this this January with Wolfenstein. Yeah, with Wolfenstein. Yeah. Great band, by the way. You should check them out. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's actually that's what that was actually the time where we started to be like a fully active band. Mm-hmm. And you are writing new songs. That's yeah. what you. Are we are always writing new always stuff. Writing. Yeah. Okay. Also because the 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 sound is a bit different, and we want to change the sound a bit. We want to make it a little bit harder and a little bit straighter. I think. Yeah, we. Yeah, I think we we need it. We need something. Or what we are craving definitely is like a straight line in the music you know like right now it's very eclectic and whatever Mm -hmm. and we really want to you know find our own niche in all of that and um make it something of our own and uh, we're always writing since uh the other guys live in a different city than i do and um just like Mirko said earlier, you know, we were living so far apart for such a long time um, that now we have a, the possibility to write music for the project or the band um, by not being in the same city. And at the time, you know, we meet, um, we have a couple of great ideas together. And since it's such a great dynamic in the band, actually, between each and every one of us, that songs come together very quickly, actually. And that's actually, yeah, then, then that's the moment where I realize, yeah, that's what it's all about. Eh?
uh, what the lyrics are all about? Hmm? The lyrics, uh, the topics are... Uh, self-hatred, self-doubt, uh, pain and suffering, actually. Okay. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, um, our singer and I, we write the lyrics together and it's all about like very personal stuff, actually. It's like little tales and little... Uh, whatever it's really like dark stuff and it was actually we were we were talking about it when we started the band we do not we are actually political people but we don't want to be a political band because actually the bands I dig or I think a lot of people in the band actually dig are like the more artistic mm -hmm. strange bands not like I mean of course there are a lot of important political bands but really the band that got me into heavy music a long time ago. It was definitely a very weird band. And um, so when we write together, we actually wanted to have this bleak uh, mirror into ourselves. So everyone, I mean, it's, it's a fucked up culture, fucked up youth culture right now. And I think there are a lot of people that can totally understand what <clears throat> we're saying. And when we play live, well, you know, we are not very sad people, actually, but that's the 30 minutes, the, the night, where, like, everything falls off from our shoulders and we just, like, play our asses off. And after that, we're, like, the best friends again, actually. But I, I don't know, maybe someone kills someone else at a show at some point. <laughs> you can never know. It's, <laughs> it happened almost quite a few times on this tour. Oh, like a lot of gear was broken actually. So yeah, that's what the lyrics are about actually. <laughs> and uh, the tour, you're talking about it. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 10th day of tour. And uh, it's nine days. Nine days. Um, I think. Well, what should I say? It's an awesome vibe because we also have a new lineup, a new drummer, a new bassist. Well, we have a bassist, and um, it's like 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 being on a tour with family or something like that. I really it's enjoy better. it. It's better. Yeah. It's definitely better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on a trip with my family. <laughs> No, but it's, it's, it means a lot of fun and uh, drinking a lot and yeah, freak, a lot. freaking out, <laughs> freaking out every night and yeah, it's a yeah. hot tour. You can imagine it's very sweaty, yeah. and very, <laughs> very smelly in the bus, and there's nine people in the bus. Like, <laughs> but it's great. It's the best thing you actually can do. And even though you know you're just happy at some point, you, you know I I will sleep on my mattress at home at one point again and. Right now, just perfect sleep on a sleeping bag on the floor and just drink till five in the morning and get <laughs> up at ten and somehow you survive it. I don't know. I usually don't when I'm at home. I'm that kind of person that stays in the bed sick all day. Like, but I think like, that's oh, also oh, that's also something what it what it is about to 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 get fucked on tour. You know, I mean, in which way? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah I mean, Sorry. Not, not in the way that you are. Talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, the the a tour will not feel like a tour if you're not fucked when you're coming back home, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we we played at Berlin yesterday, and uh, like most of our friends were there, and they were like, oh, "You guys look horrible." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, that's I is what I is. I can't change it." That's great. I don't know. I love feeling sick. That's what the band is all about. <laughs> Just like we, yeah, the, the lyrics again. You know, it's a mirror of the lyrics, actually.
question before at uh, Hector Savage. Um, you have maybe two dates uh, for tomorrow and after, I think? No. Just Today tomorrow. and tomorrow. Two, okay. Yeah. And uh, what's for the moment your favorite date or moment you don't Berlin. have? Berlin was, Berlin was 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 the best show, I think. Berlin was great. Yeah. Um, Stuttgart was also really cool. Stuttgart was great as because well. Because the people were so fucking lovely. It's uh, Stuttgart. Actually, it was a secret show. We can't be too p particular about the location and whatever. But um, the people that organize the show normally organize rave parties and yeah. electro parties. And uh, so it was actually the first show with such a noisy lineup, and they were totally blown away. And they were like, "Oh my god!" And there were children outside playing. It was a big barbecue, and there were dogs playing. And suddenly, you know, you have two noisy bands like Hector Savage and Sinatra playing in there. And they were really interesting in, in us and, and, the, and the sound we make. A lot of friends were there. Yeah. It was just lovely. That, that's actually the, that's the shows. You know, Berlin was great, obviously, because a lot of friends were there. A lot of, we reached a new people, we lo reached a lot of new people. I think the difference is that you, that we... the first time in Stuttgart for us, right? Yeah, and yeah. it's just nice to reach new people. That and we didn't expect don't. it anything and it was... Yeah really cool and there were some people and they were also really thankful and really lovely and yeah, yeah they were felt welcome definitely there there and you know i actually prefer those shows the most where you reach new people that maybe normally you wouldn't listen to any yeah. music they were you know there were kids and they were like are you guys angry and i was <laughs> like yeah that's great thank you and it was like but yeah <laughs> yeah I mean, all in all, it was a great tour. Yeah. You know, it's summer vacation in Germany, and um, it, it's definitely hard to get people to the concerts. And to, to there was, yeah, and, but somehow there were always people, and there were some shows that were very, were not very much visitors. There were shows where the place was packed, and mm -hmm. each and every show was great. Because yeah. we have each other. It's all, all you need. It's beautiful what you're saying. <laughs> and Hector Seven. Yeah. 
We really want to try to do as much as possible by ourselves. It's really, it's really important for us to do that. Um, to be totally in control of what you're doing and to reach the people and we're still you know in a, in a stage of the band where it's very important to have a very close contact to your audience mm -hmm. and people that actually are interested in you and check you spend more than 50 minutes on anything you do if it's at a show and check your band or listen to your crappy release on Bandcamp or whatever or your social media websites and um, we have a lot of stuff planned and it's gonna be amazing and I totally stoked about it. Yeah. Now you can say which bands you totally <laughs> are into. As I said, I, I mean there are so many bands that I'm listening to and I don't know, maybe it's a mix about everything that, I, that I'm listening at home and I don't listen to that much hard music when I'm at home, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah. And as you said, the, the meeting of uh, all the you guys to make the song so yeah I think that's 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 the song maybe of Sinatra mm -hmm. the sound of all the bands that we're playing on yeah. Yeah. we want to ask a question the band no <laughs> No. Okay. Do you want to ask the best? <laughs> you want a question to the band? <laughs> so maybe you have something to you want to say something to conclude or uh, do drugs? No. <laughs> oh God. Kill, kill your local drug dealer and support your local scene. I don't know, man. It's uh, go to school. Uh, yeah, buy our tape. Come to our shows. <laughs> um, talk, talk to us. I uh, think you should stop now. <laughs> I think there's so much more shit to say. Actually, I think we really should stop. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you for your time.